Hi everyone, my name is Karen. I'm here again, once again, and I'm very excited for Flying Unicorn live show. And I'm really excited, it's my turn again. And I have an off the page project using the beautiful birdcage from uh, Prima, designed by Finnebear. And I altered it and made this really cool thing so that we can, in a, like the birdcage, so I can have a family like heirloom and just have it in my in my living room. I'm gonna turn my camera away. Oh, and a few announcements. Everything before, everything in the, in the store regard, uh, related to this project is 10 percent off. And uh, I will end also next week. Jennifer is on, yay! So it's really exciting at 9 p.m. again. Okay, so let me turn the camera around and we can get started. Okay, hold on. No, it's too far away. Wait a second. Okay, one second. Sorry, guys. Ah, now I got, got screwed up because I turned it around. Okay, I think that's too close. I would like to put it. Oh, hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm going to fiddle with it one more time. And you can see my legs. Okay, so this is my project. Oh, and it doesn't fit in the whole. It doesn't fit in the whole screen, so that might be a problem. Sorry, let me just one more time. Ah, my water bottle just went fell in here. What happened to this? Why did it go so? I don't know what happened. I screwed it up. Okay, well, this is more or less what I can do. Okay, so as you can see, this is the off the page. I hope it's bright enough for you to see it. And some of the times I might not be able to have it this way upright because as you can see the the little like hanging home sign is kind of like fla f flipping in just because it's loose with some strings. But I'm going to get started with the rest of it. And it looks out of focus, so hopefully it's like this. Let me see if I can add some more light to this. Okay, so we're going to get started on this. So here is the frame. Here's the altered frame. And it comes like this with a backing which I already took off just because it's very fidgety and it's very annoying to put back together and what I did is I made a background for it and um, I traced the background and cut it out so I kind of wanted to see yeah this is good so I'm going to just trace this color this is oh and this is paper is Epiphany collection, Prima Epiphany at this moment, which I really love. I really love the front, so I want to try to save it as much as possible. So I'm thinking maybe if I cut it kind of in the middle, I can, uh, no, maybe I'll use the edges, because I had a, a scrap before, like a scrap paper, but now um, I have to use a new one. So I'm just tracing it, because I'm gonna use the back of it. Okay. Oops. And I'm going to, of course, cut it and glue it. I could have done this step before, but I really wanted to basically show you all the steps. And, um, sorry, can you see? Yeah, okay. I'm trying to see, I don't know what happened to my camera. It kind of got screwed up. And, the side. Oh, and I forgot to say, do you guys notice my new mat? My new mat, Prima mat, that Alda sells in the, in the store, matches my project. So I didn't match my nails today, as you can see. I didn't even get my nails done or anything. I didn't have time. But my beautiful self-healing mat matches my project. So at least I have some kind of matching thing. Oh, hi, Marilia. I just looked at it. So nice to have you around. Anyways, okay, so... Here's the thing, and I'm just going to use this part of it because I just think it's so pretty. And um, I'm going to glue it on, but I really don't want to ruin my mat because I am just too concerned about it. I literally just got it two days ago. And um, so I'm going to use 
this just to whenever I do some kind of um, gluing or spraying or anything like that. And I'm going to use my handy dandy Fabri Tac. And I know Jennifer loves my accent, but I really, um, I really sometimes wish I just spoke regularly. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just kind of glue it on. Yay, can you guys see? Okay, good. And like this. And then what I did is actually the colors of the Epiphany, they have like really beautiful pastel colors. Some of them are the light teal and then and obviously black and white. So what I wanted to do is give it some color. So I used the soft teal, the mist, and I just gave it a kind of a wash. Oops, yeah. And hold on. Ah, so sometimes when they're clogged or when there's too little left, which I should have refilled, I just spill some of it on. And then, and then I went ahead and kind of gave it a light wash just to give it some color. And one thing about this teal one, the color bloom, the teal one, is that it's also very shiny. It has like shimmery stuff in it. Not all the color blooms that do, but this one is the shimmery, specifically shimmer. And it's not really that wet to, to begin with. And I'm just gonna just a little bit dry it up. Okay. And then the only other thing I did with the back is that I edged it with some uh, black coal uh, chalk edger, just a little bit on the edges, just to kind of give it extra depth, especially when you're putting it in. And I just realized, oops. And that's it, it's basically dry. Now inserting it was a pain in the neck and I will try my best to do it now. I try to open all of them now. So the way it is, is that you have to kind of get it in between these. And at the same, oh, oops, I'm doing it the wrong way. At the same time, so, one second and there's like these flaps right in the middle too so it just was a lot of let me see if I can push it in and I don't think I got it in see this is a pain in the neck okay hold on I need to get it in the roof that's where the problem is I need to open these a little bit more sorry guys they're just sometimes very fidgety but it's worth the fidget Am I getting in? Oh, I think I got it in. I think I got it in. I just need to, oh, one second. And I'll show you how it looks. Okay. And just have to close the, this, like, these little flaps like in a picture frame because I think it was kind of meant to be like a picture frame. And inside, it also has that. Okay, so that's what I did in the inside. As you can see, nothing fancy all good now the other thing I did I mean look how fancy this is you see it's already really distressed which is really beautiful I really didn't want to do too much to it because I didn't want to ruin most of it so what I did is I just did some of the edges now what I'll show you here what I'm gonna create so if you can see you see this it looks like an old brick house um, hard to explain you know like those old uh, old cottages that they see everywhere and the other side has this beautiful um, bird bath so that's what I I did on the sides but I'll show you how I did this sides okay so uh, I'm gonna have to put it aside like this okay hopefully you can see it and I'm gonna grab my spatula and what I did is I used the, again, I really love this, the embossing paste, the Wendy Vecchi Studio 490 embossing paste in black. And my, I don't know why I really go to this one a lot. It's the um, Stone Stencil 1 6x6 by Prima. And I used it to create texture on the actual side. 
and let me show you how I put it on and what I wanted to do is to make sure that that don't put it all I like everywhere don't put it everywhere because then it's like just looks too even it's nice if you kind of hold it down and put it a bit here and a bit here so it looks like the bricks are kind of broken in some areas and some of them are not and when you lift it up it just it looks like that I hope that makes sense to you and you can actually because of this roof is designed that I can actually use the I can actually do it on the other side right away without having to wait until it dries because I just don't have patience so I'm just gonna do the other side too oops too much and and there you go oh, this one I did a little bit more but that's okay and if it's rough or if it becomes look how cool it looks it um, it looks like a rug I don't know like rustic like a rustic cottage so I thought it would it was really cool to do this let me just have a little bucket here with water so I just want to put the, the stencil there okay okay so you see what I mean by this the other thing I'm going to do is just clean my now I also did and I also before I dry it I can still work on the roof without ruining the side and what I did I'm gonna oh here that's a perfect way is that I added um, I tried to add a little bit of black but it really didn't take so what I did is I used some of the textures patina from shimmers oops so there it is okay I, have, I think it was in the one of the last either this past one or I think one before in one of the flying unicorn um, kits and basically I just smeared it on top so I use I use my fingers and I just smeared it in different areas just to give some texture and color to this and um, I know I'm using my finger but these tubs are really small and then I'm gonna do the other side too so I just got some on the bird what's going on oh yeah. and here's the other side yeah I love shimmer products I was really sad that I had to like leave them because of um conflict of interest between medias mixed medias but I still have some of their products which are really really nice the other thing that I used and let me just dry this a little bit because I don't want to mix too many too much media together especially in the black so I'm gonna just sort of dry them this dries really quickly um, the textured um, I mean the embossing paste dries really quickly the textures takes a little bit longer but that's okay because we'll work on other areas after but I just want the specifically I, I want the black area like the, the stones to be dry because I added a little bit of silver there too so hold on and let me try the other side You also have to be careful when you're heating this up because it's metal it turns really hot so just be careful I'm not gonna thin this out if you see that you have it too thick somewhere just kind of thin it out just because um, you, it will take too long to dry and you don't want to I don't have patience to wait really I don't okay let me see if this is kind of dry I want to make sure I don't burn myself okay there you go you see now it's all dry one minute I need to clean my hands so um, the other thing I added some to the actual like stone part is um, some silver I wanted to add silver embossing paste from Wendy Vecchi. However, it was all 
sold out in Alda's store. So I resorted to something else, but you could use that one too. You could use the Wendy Vecchi's um, silver embossing paste. Instead, I ended up using some Viva Decor Ferro. Oops, I keep on missing it. You see this? It's silver and it gives it a metal effect and it's very similar in texture to um, to the embossing paste, the Studio 490 embossing paste. As you can see here, I'll show you, okay? So what I did is again, I went with my finger and I kind of gently added around, I didn't want to put too much, around the stones. It kind of dulled the effect of the stones. And what I did, can you see that? You see it kind of blended it into the background. And at the same time, it made it look rustic. I don't know. That's the only way I can think of. You guys can think of another. Um, if if you guys can think of another way of of describing the look of the of the stones, it just really reminds me of an of a cottage in like Ireland or something. I don't know. Not that I've ever been to Ireland, but I just picture that or in England, something like that, with those like old stones. And I just wiped a little bit off with the mat with the with the wipe. Okay, yeah, let me do the other side. Okay. So, yeah, I actually love the, uh, yeah, Elda, I love the Viva Decor products. I have I don't have, own a lot of them, but the ones that I've used are just really, really nice. So, again, I'm doing the same thing here. And just adding a little bit here. And I even added a little bit to the roof, just a tiny bit, like in some other areas, just to give it some silvery, a silver touch. I didn't want to cover too much of the rough areas. Oh, and I'm doing that. Oops, sorry. One minute. My wipes got stuck. And, oops. And I didn't, yeah, I don't want to cover too much of those like rough areas anywhere. Really, I mean, the amount of roof, nobody's going to really notice how much you put because it's, um, it's, uh, yay, the line, I made it. Where were you? And some more here. Okay, so that's basically it. I really didn't want to add too much to it, as I said, because I really liked um, the way the birdhouse is already as it is. So if you can see, I'll show you close up. Can you see? I don't know. It's hard to like do the angle, but this you can tell, you see? Anyway, so that's basically it. And what I did is I let it dry in the air because I was able to then alter it and add all the other things inside in the meantime while everything was drying. So now we're going to get to the fun part. Okay. Um, are you ready? Is everybody ready? Okay. Nobody's answering. Everybody's in their own world there over there. And I hate missing the chat. The chat is so much fun and I hate missing that. And I miss it when I'm like crafting. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't complain. Okay, so the first thing I did is I picked a photo, and I'm actually going to pick the same photo I did before, and I cut around it, and this is a photo of my family and I. You see, I cut around the photo, and what I did is I followed the Linus little trick with the uh, with the cardboard and I put I glued four pieces of small cardboard that I cut cut from one of the boxes Can you see so there's four pieces? I already pre glued them because I wanted to make sure that um, That they're dry by the time I get to put them in and these basically Just went on this side of the canvas. Okay The next thing I did is I added a background background flowers and I wanted to pick sorry don't mind me I want to drink a little bit of water when I'm talking and um, sorry about that so so what I did is I wanted to pick a kind of big flower to um, to stand behind it because I really wanted it to pop out beside the 
beside the picture. So I pick this one, which is, and let me tell you the number, it's called Bella's. And it's 570-989. Uh, and uh, these are the ones. They come in like gray. They come in different colors, but the ones I picked were kind of grayish. And I put the flower a little bit behind the photo just to kind of pop it up. And then I added one of my favorite time flowers of all time, Lamia. I think I use this one a lot. I think I do. And this is one of my favorite colors. This is the teal color, I think. Uh, Lamia 571542. And, um, and I just basically added another one to the side. Hold on a second. This one goes about here, kind of on top of the other one. Then I use one of the new flowers from Prima. And these are really nice. They're London flowers. Please somebody help me with the code. I just don't know. Our packages come like with no label. So I don't remember which London. I think this is called London and they come nine in a package. And I just used a couple of these here. And they're just so beautiful and glittery and really really nice so hopefully Cynthia or Alda can f tell me which flower this is it's I know it's London and this one kind of goes behind here now um, the next thing I did is I added these really fun topiary um, resins that I bought at Alda's store these are Prima um, resins and uh, I've never used them before. I always thought I would never find something to use them for. However, I really enjoyed using them for this project. And they're just really, really cute. And I mean, who is not in love with the red Prima resins? Seriously, like Ingvilds are it's just they're just stunning. And did you guys see the the, um, the Prima blog today? Um, they have some really cute new ones, which I don't have yet, but are so, so, so cute. So, um, if you can, um, if you can get a hold of some of those, just go or check out the Prima blog, you can. And here is this, I put them kind of on the side. This one I did here. And this one I put on the other side, kind of in like, like a gateway to the, to the house. And this one just went behind here. And the last thing, before I glue the inside, I use one of these really, really cute bird nests, um, cradles. I think they're Robin's Cradle, Cradle Robin. And it's 552879. And these are really my favorite, like one of my favorite items from all time. And I just love using it in this project. And I'm going to use one of these and I'm just going to stuff it over here. So let me first glue this so I don't get ahead of myself and I don't go crazy with everything else. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so I'm going to start with the picture because that, um, see, I just, I'm going to glue the, and it doesn't really matter what size the, the cardboard is because you're going to be, it's going to be hidden behind. So... It just looks really cute because it looks like as if it's sticking out from the background, which is what I wanted to achieve. And then I have this flower. Sorry, glue is coming out slow. This flower, which was underneath. Oops. And this Lamia flower. Here, oh, I'm dropping things. Then the London flower. Have you guys looked at the London flower? Okay, I just love it. And it comes so many beautiful colors and it's glittery. I really like this one. I think I ordered a bunch of those. And finally, the nest. I mean, how can you have a birdhouse without a nest? That's what I say. Cool. And let me glue the last topiary here. I love the one with the heart. It's just so adorable. Oops. 
Okay, this glue always gets on my hand. Okay, and I will glue these ones too. Um, I will just glue these ones too. Sorry about that one second. See, while I'm working here in the front, what's nice about it is that the rest is drying at the top and I don't have to wait for that to happen. Because then I'm going to add lots of embellishments and flowers on top. <clears throat> there we go. So, another thing that I added was a few little flowers in the front. These are, um, um, these are, I forget, Abby's, I think. Yes, oh good, I got the, so these are little, Ab uh, these are Abby's, 571801. Again, one of my favorite colors, as you can see. I think all my projects I made on Ustream for Flying Unicorn have had teal in it. So uh, maybe next one, I might do something with like orange or something, because I think I am going overboard with the teal. So I am gonna put, some of these here just a little bit just to add a little bit of color in the front as you saw in my project I have these like um, metal gates from Prima so it's really just to oh, and I don't want this color just to add some extra some extra color in the front let's go make a, I want a little bit more teal in some of them there's different like shades of the same teal in the in the in the actual um, package, so I usually try to to pick kind of similar colors, and I really tried my best to not hide the picture or any of the embellishments in the back. I really wanted them to kind of pop out from the back. There we go. Okay, so that I did. Yay! So you see the front is kind of done. I will not gonna glue this the the gate until later because it was I have to literally hold it oh wait no one, one, one more thing so I, I don't want to hold the gate right now so I'm going to add everything that I can add in the front and then go to the top so I'm gonna leave these I, I use family street I'm gonna leave this till the end and basically go to the top now and let's see if everything is kind of dry here and Let's see. Oh, it's not. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a um, heat dry, just so I know. <laughs> oh, now, while I'm drying, I can watch what you guys are talking about. A health bar. Health bars actually are good if they're healthy, but they have a lot of calories if that's what you're going for. Yeah, it's a little cute bird. You're right, Cynthia. And um, it's just really cute. The whole the whole bird is gorgeous. I actually, the whole bird house, is, I actually didn't think to, that I wanted to get it originally. I thought, oh, it's another bird house who wants another one. I have tons from the dollar store. But then when I actually got it, I loved it so much that I couldn't help myself. So we're gonna work with the top right now. And one of the things that I did is I added these flowers at the top. And I've already used two of them um, from the packaging. Uh, these are called Parolas. They're 571207. I got them at the Flying Unicorn Store, but really you could substitute this with any black and white flower or any script flower. They're just very kind of generic. I just like them. I had them, so I might as well use them type thing. And I'll take both of them out. And one of them went in one side and one went in the other. So here's this. And what I did is I just glued them kind of on, one of them went underneath the bird. And oops. Uh -huh. Okay, and the other side, it was lower down. Are you guys still there? It feels so quiet when you can't hear anybody talking, even though you're just hearing yourself talk. 
and okay so you see there's like this is one side and that's the other the other thing I added were these beautiful vines now I used I literally when I used these when I made this project I only had these in stock which are the Breton vines the script ones but Prima had just has just come out with these beautiful vines that um, that are just like really really fabulous um, somebody remind me the name of what they're called I ordered a bunch of them and they have script all over them I mean they don't have flowers but they're really beautiful and these with the I mean these are one of my favorite old Prima um, vines so I love them so much because you can use them in so many different places you basically can cut around and use it in use it like in a few places and it lasts for a long time so um, oh yeah you're right uh, Cynthia the vellum flowers would look perfect with this with this project you don't have to use the one the Perola one um, just uh, would be great to to do like something else so anyways I'm gonna cut over here and I just always be careful not to cut like the actual flower or in a place that hold on oh and it flew sorry and then I am going to cut a little bit more just want to make sure oh no I didn't cut a little bit more I just basically used this whole one so maybe you know what I did cut a little bit here and then I used it right I think I did mm. No, I had only two, so this must have been okay. Well, it won't be exact, of course, as I had it before. Ah, Providence Vines, thank you. So, if you can get these Breton ones, I mean, the Providence Vines will look just great, and you can add a few white flowers, and you're just and you're done. Let me turn this around a little bit. I'm trying to figure it. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this to hold. There we go. So, I'm going to glue these now hold on it's so hard it's not like um it's really hard to work on an off the page project when you're teaching it on live or even in any video because the angles are so odd um i much prefer doing a layout but this is just really really fun so i'm trying to kind of um hold myself on this and um what I did is I kind of, oh, you know what I did? I actually wrapped this vine around the birdie a little bit. I did just realize I did that after, just for fun. And then I glued um, one of the beautiful Lamia flowers there too. So it kind of hides things but also you can see the actual um, flower and then oh did I add anything else um, yeah oh it had more flowers why am I like being so stingy okay I added some more of these hold on. I added a couple of these so hold on one second all right so the other thing I did is I added this one over here which is really cute I think I maybe I'll do the small one I mean it won't be exactly how the other one you know it's very hard to always replicate everything and if I'm gonna give this as a gift as might as well uh, it might as well be different I want to add some abbey flowers and a couple of these okay oops oh i did it the wrong way oopsie okay so you see this is the one side then i want to turn it around oh i need my other support here i'm using the the tub for support and I'm gonna glue the other vines on the other side oops okay sorry about that can you guys still see yes okay good just making sure because whenever I turn things around I want to make sure that you guys can see all sides okay 
and I think it would be nice to like put it over here. Oops, so these leaves, these these leaves, you kind of want to stick them in a place that are not is nice. Uh, and nobody, somebody talk to me. Just kidding. Okay. And I don't want to think I'm going to put this one over here. So maybe this one I'll raise a little bit so they're not exactly even. And this one should go down a little bit more. Again, make sure that everything is glued properly, otherwise it will come apart. <clears throat> and I'm going to use one of the London flowers for this. it will look good over here kind of on top of this and a couple more Lamia but I want them in the darker colors not Lamia I meant to say Abby's Okay, what do you guys think? Hmm? Let me just glue this part too. I kind of like came apart. Oh, too much glue. Some things I've had to hold down just because otherwise they don't hold together. And I'm going to raise this up so then it works. Okay. Ah, come on, stay together. Okay, hold on. I have too much glue on my fingers, so I need to kind of remove it. And this is not wanting to hold. So, you know, some things just need to hold it for two seconds. So, sorry. Uh, oh, thanks, Alda. I saw some of you guys were talking about... Uh, yeah, the Providence vine is big. You're right, Song, but it's as big as this one. That's why I cut them down and I use them in different places. Maybe I'll have to hide this a little bit. Ah, it's not gluing, fine. Okay, so here we're back to the front. Oops, sorry. Oh, I have one little leaf here. I didn't, it kind of hid from me. Let me see if I can just add it. I don't want to leave it by itself. And just kind of want to add it here. So, oh, I think it goes over here. There we go. So here is one side, you see, and here is the other. So it just looks really cute. And then here's the front. Now for the front, there are a few things that I had to glue in the front. So that's why I made sure that, um, that I was, um, that I was like make, waiting sure that it's, everything is dry. One more thing I forgot is this little flower. I also added this little flower. It's part of the package. So, and it kind of went in front of my son over here just to make it more 3D sticking out. Perfect. Good. So let me put some of the flowers away. I don't think I need any more flowers, although I could be wrong. You always need flowers. Oh, I stop. maybe I do need, so never mind. Okay. One of the things I did is I use this, uh, yeah, the line. I already, you missed out. You came late, the line. That's why you didn't notice when I said that the fingernails don't match, but my mat matches. So I'm going to go back to my mat, actually, because... Everything is kind of dry, and I didn't want to dirty it before that. Anyways, I just didn't have time to go. That's basically what it is. Okay, so, oh, I have too much junk. I don't like it when, in my videos, I don't like it when there is too much stuff going on on the table. So, back to my little birdhouse, and... And um, what I did is I added uh, this clock. It's a Prima clock and the actual, I already assembled it. It's the clock with the hands and the numbers are, okay, they look like, they come like this. I just, you see the hands and they're Junkyard Findings by Ingville Baum and it's from Prima and it's 891-596 and 
891-589. And I just, this is what I put at the top. I changed the colors a little bit. Instead of putting white handles, I put hands, I put black ones just to change the colors a little bit so it doesn't have to be exactly the, like the other one. And I just glued it to the top. Hold on, sorry. And what I did, I really wanted to have the, I didn't want them to fall like the hands, I didn't want them to just be anywhere. So I added a little bit of glue and took in a couple spots so it will they will stay stuck to them to the time that I whatever I just want to I put them kind of at the bottom so you see so this will stay over there and then and then what I did is I okay so these are we, we're done with these and where's my family street oh there it is so here I added this sign this is a really cute one it's also junkyard findings and it has really different titles i've used and this one is called family street i just thought it, it was perfect for my family photo and I, again i just glued it i actually thought this project would take me a lot longer than it did when um but i guess i will be on time today it looks to me okay you see this and so this I put in and then I put these little birdies now these are must be a favorite of mine from Prima these fly away birdies item 891480 these are really like one of my our favorite my favorite items of all time I think the Lina likes them loves them too and I have bought over the years I bought so many of them and I just add them to all my projects and of course this I couldn't go without adding this one to it and I'm gonna add oops I think I'm gonna add like a flying bird in this time when you see the sign they keep on moving it's really annoying the glue kind of moves it around so I think we're gonna have a flying bird this time I know I saw the new birds today they're gorgeous I haven't gotten them I really want to buy those the new birds are stunning from Ingvilds there is one oops, flying bird and the other side I think she'll just be perched over here perfect they, she fits perfectly okay good now what I wanted to do is just realize that the way I did the vines in the other one I kind of brought the vines closer to oops sorry oh you look what happened to this glue closer to the front so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a couple of more um, flowers in the front to kind of balance out the colors so I'm going to take couple of these and okay there we go well, one more one more Let's, everything comes out except for what I want okay so, so I just want to maybe glue a couple more flowers over here <gasps> oh please tell me oh thank god it didn't it didn't fall all over and uh, I think I'm going to put one over here. Okay, there we go. I don't even think I need this one. I thought I would, but I don't think I do. So it's just going to stay like that. Mm, let me see, maybe not. Mm, here? No, it doesn't look nice. Okay, so there you go. So I just, just kind of added it so it kind of balances the whole frame. And then I went and added the... Um, um, how do you call this the the gate and the number so let me show you what I did okay let me just bring these forward oh and sorry I forgot the the bath the bird bath okay so let me glue the bird bath first because that one took a while to dry and it was and I kept on falling over and I did use the black bird bath in the other one so I use this one this is um, I doesn't say the name but it's a uh, 892-326 it's from last winter CHA 
from Prima and it's just so cute. It comes with a little knob for this for the for the water. Remind me what the name of that board is. God, I forgot the nozzle. I don't know. So uh, let me first glue that onto the bird bath. And it fits perfectly in. And then I'm going to glue the actual thing to the side. Okay. And I'm going to hold it here for a few minutes. Okay. So you see the family sign keeps on moving. And don't mind me, just I can read the chat while I hold the bird bath. You see, I just want to make sure that it sticks and that everything is straight because every glue takes a while to dry so I want to make sure that everything is dry oh and this is a gate so in the meantime I'll tell you about the gate this is comes with a gate and a little frame it's 890-865 it's an old one uh, shabby chic treasures and I've used it in many projects and this is my last one literally so I don't have any more and these are also shabby chic treasures from Ingvilds and um, I just uh, used the word home which I really thought it was cute and the number for this is 892-319 so um, just want to make sure it's really dry sometimes this takes longer I haven't found a metal that Glue, uh, glue that glue uh, that sticks metal to metal, a good one. I keep on using Fabri-Tac or three to one, but three in one. But I haven't found one that is really good for that. If anybody has any ideas, please feel free to write it in the forum or text me about it. So maybe I'll go buy it. Okay, so one more second while I wait, I'm gonna take a sip of water. Okay. Okay, good. So, here is, hopefully when I do this, it will not move. Because it, they tend to kind of slide. Okay. So, let's go with the gate first, because that takes longer to dry. And what I did is I kind of glued it in the inside of the, of the, um, of the, of the, um, ah, birdhouse. Okay, so hold on. I read the best is E6, and it takes forever to dry. No, I don't need. I want something that I want something that dries quick. <laughs> I don't have patience. Have I said that I don't have patience? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so this is kind of has to go here. And I think what I did is I lifted it up and I put something in between just to kind of hold it. Or maybe not. As long as you're stand, it's standing up, it will work. I will so, show it to you after. I can't show you. I will just show you what I did with the number in the mean, with the word home in the meantime. I wish they would have had my house number. That would have been really cute. Mine is 145. If that would have been, she should have like made them plain and then you can add your own number then you can customize it to your own house maybe she'll come up with that on another time or something like that so zip dry also okay I'll try okay um, so you know what okay so there we go so I'm gonna open one of these packages just so you can see what I did with them with the home sign okay oh my clock kind of moved okay I'm trying to see you know what when the glue takes a long time to dry you really have to pay attention that your embellishments don't dry up crooked so I keep on checking them to keep on checking all the metal ones and here's the home sign and what I did is I used. let me move this a little bit back so then I can show you what I did I used um, the jute vine from Prima in white I don't know the number for it again I are gonna clump of it and what I did is I uh, strung it through one side and then through the other 
Okay. And then what I did, once it was like done, done, I tied it up, but I wanted to tie it up. So when I double it up, so I, I grab it from the back, sorry, I grab it from the back and I'm doubling it up. I wanted to make sure that when I put it on, hang it off the clock, that it, I mean, I'll show you in a second, that it hangs in a right height. So let me just quickly show you this. Um, sorry, I quickly show you this. It's kind of hanging, it's gonna hang behind the clock. So what I'm going, so I made it, I made sure that the height is right. So again, let me just show you what I did. I strung it from both sides, okay, so it looks like this in the back. And then, before tying it up, I pulled the back of it and matched it to the top. I don't know if I'm making sense. Up until the height, I would want it to be hanging. So how long do I want the hanging to be? To? And then I tied it up. Oops. So this one I tie up with this one. And another knot, sorry. Okay, so one more time, double knotted. There we go. So now, when I grab both ends, I can see whether or not it's long enough. I'll cut some of the long strings and I hide the other ones behind it. So, now that I can show you the end of it. Here you see the gate is all dried up. Everything is basically dried up. And then what I did is I hung the little clock, the little sign behind this. And maybe I'll put the clock a little bit higher. So then it kind of hangs. And then you have to just basically even it out. You see the clock is not dry yet. This is why I wanted to make sure that everything is dry. Oh, and make sure you get them get it behind it. Oh, this is what's happening. I have to get it behind the little hands. There we go. Hand these ones. Okay, so now it's going too far in, and I don't really know if it looks good or not because it's very hard to tell when it's lying like this because this dangles. So I'm gonna lift it up. You guys might not be able to see what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to kind of balance it equally between the two sides. So when it hangs, it hangs well. Let me cut a little bit more to hide it behind. And that's basically it. So when it's hanging, it's hanging like this, okay? It's just hard to tell, but it's hanging like this. So that's basically it. I mean, any questions or anything regarding any of the products or any of the techniques I used? Oh, look at the gate, you see? The gate is kind of, so I'm gonna have to stand this up and I will, what I'll do is I'll show you the older one just because uh, just because um, um, I'm still letting the other one dry and <laughs> yes you're right I actually didn't think I would make it in and I, I completely thought I would it would take me an hour and a half to two today I'm not really sure how I finish it I think like when you take you take away the thinking process um, you kind of come up with this, like you don't have, you, I don't, I didn't have to think on how to design it. I was just copying the other ones. So when you're copying, it's not the same as when you're, um, when you're actually, um, how do you call this? When you're actually trying to design it, because it does take a lot longer. When I was designing it, it took me probably a whole day. But right now, when I'm just, um, I'm just. Uh, doing it uh, doing the second one it's just so much easier so i hope you guys enjoyed yourselves um again just announcing that uh, all the product most of the products that are still in stock or that are, are available um but you can probably substitute them with anything else uh, they are available at the flying unicorn store in the 10 percent off and also remember that next week let me see i'm sure i'm not missing any announcements so let me just like make sure i got my phone and checking it out um so um just making sure where is it um 
Oh, yes, I forgot something. Um, so the 10% off to this till ne next Tuesday. Also, we would love for you to join us over at CSI uh, Crime Scene Investigation for uh, this month. Um, as we, because uh, Flying Unicorn is sponsoring them, and you can come and play along and win a prize with any of the um, investigative uh, palettes. And next week, Jennifer is on um, at 9 p.m., the same as here, and uh, she is going to be, I'm sure, designing. Oh, let me turn around. I feel like I'm talking to the wall. Sorry, let me just turn it around. Yeah. Um, oh, there I am. Okay. So, Je whoa! That was not a good view, sorry. Um, so Jennifer will be on. <laughs> These cameras are tricky. Next week, and she'll be, I'm sure, doing an amazing project. And I can't wait to see you guys all. And come every week. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for coming to the Flying Unicorn um, live shows and spending a whole hour with us. Thank you very much. Bye.